It is normal to feel stupid when you are tricked into a relationship with a narcissist. You will feel so dumb and look back and see all the red flags, but it's not your fault. They're very good at what they do. Most of their time is spent being conniving and planning in order for to give you a reason to believe they are telling the truth. But I'll tell you this. There's no reason for you to feel stupid. There's no reason for you to feel ashamed or embarrassed. Because the narcissist, when they look at you, they're constantly putting together ways, stories. They're watching you and things that you've experienced. So they will know what type of things you will believe, what type of things you will have empathy over. And they will wait for you. They will wait to be asked about something that they know you're going to ask about sooner or later. And give you that lie. And much of the time, they're going to seem like you have the problem. You don't trust me. Or <laughs> my ex-wife would go into an immediately fake laugh. Say, oh, 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 okay, you're thinking of me. Oh. Just like that. And I'd be like, whoa, whoa. That doesn't make any sense. Now I know you're lying. Because you went off into not crying, but saying the words. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Instead of actually crying. And now I know you knew better and that you're being conniving. And she go, uh, this is your fault because me, she wouldn't even deny it. She would immediately jump to something else. And that's what happened when you catch them off guard. That's what happens when you ask them something they did not prepare for. And sometimes they could be a very stupid narcissist where they don't even think ahead for the proper questions that you would ask. Now, if you're like me and you really understand how things work and the details of things, you will ask them a question as far as why this, and they would have never even thought of such a thing because they're not even educated on the topic. And they realize that they brought up something for some type of excuse or some type of reasoning that you know a lot about that they have no experience with. And that was always fascinating to watch, that type of response. Their, their, her um, uh, reaction toward that thing. But, uh, yeah. So don't feel bad when they, when they trick you. You know, especially, like, my ex-wife was very unintelligent. But there are some narcissists out there. Though, although narcissism and psychopathy, they tend not to be very intelligent which a lot of people think that they're geniuses because of there's a myth that started in Hollywood. That's not the case. They tend not to be as intelligent as the average person. But if you run into one that is intelligent, oh my goodness, there's a series. I'm watching it now called Who the Fuck Did I Marry on, on TikTok. It's a 50-something part series. If you watch that, you will see how smart and conniving some of these people can be. Now, of course, he wasn't just a narcissist. He was something way beyond that. But he, narcissism, like it usually is, was a symptom of whatever disorder he has. But, uh, yeah, don't feel bad. Don't feel stupid. Share your story. Because when we all share our stories together, it helps us heal. And we realize that 
we didn't do anything wrong. For me, I'm very proud of the type of husband I was with that terrible, terrible woman. Because I've seen just how far I can go, how, how, how long it will take to get me to stop being a very loving, nurturing man that spoils his woman. I'll, I'll never be that man again, to be honest with you. After experiencing her, I'll never, ever treat a woman like that again, ever. But, uh, yeah, it's just when you give, 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 and you don't get anything back. But anyways, that's all.